Hey everyone, it's Kim. I just wanted to show you my latest project. It is a uh, letter holder that I have altered. It has three slots and I really enjoyed doing this. I did a lot of work to it. It was just plain wood. So I'll start up here at the top. And what I did was I uh, painted it white to start with and then um, I used some crackle medium. And you can see there in the top that it uh, it's crackled. And I'll just move it here also on the sides. It's crackled as well. And uh, I used the uh, Martha Stewart, I think it's called Putty. That's the color that's on top. I wanted it to look really, really vintage um, and shabby like it had been, you know, outside for quite a while. And so then after I had done the crackle, I took the modeling paste and uh, I did some, some modeling paste down the side here and then I just used the side of the palette knife to give some texture. So I did that on both sides there. And then I used a mask to uh, create this image here, which is a, a cameo. And then I used uh, this little cherub guy. I've had him forever. And I just gave him a fresh coat of paint and added him there with a couple of little um, wild orchid craft flowers. And then I used the um, Prima Romance novel paper for this project. And I really love the colors that are in the uh, paper. So I picked up all the colors that are in there. There's like a lovely peach and a dark pink and turquoise, really nice vibrant colors. So um, what I did was I added a piece of the um, paper to each of the uh, little slots here where you can put your mail in here. So I'll start down here at the bottom. And this here, this first one here, I used the um, the mask here. It's a fleur-de-lis mask. And I did that on each of them. And then I created a wooden fleur-de-lis here. And I painted it the same uh, putty color. And then I took my new um, stamp from Stamper's Best, the Fleur de Lis background, and I did that on top and then just took some gesso to just sort of tone down the color of it. And I added a bit of gesso on it and distressed it a bit, and then I added all of these gorgeous flowers. This one here I made out of uh, a vintage doily. And I used a very tiny, tiny little cameo right there in the center. I put some uh, vintage doilies on the bottom here and behind all the flowers. These large flowers are from Discount Crafts 1. And these ones are from Wild Orchid Crafts. And these ones also. And these ones here I got off a of seller on Zibit whose name escapes me at the moment. So I, again, I just picked up on the colors that are in the collection and then I took, um, there's a little butterfly here that I received in a swap. Then I took some of the pearls and I just kind of wound it all through. And then I added a bit of bling here and some flat back pearls. And then we'll move down to the oops, move down to the next one. And then on the second one, um, I kept it more to the peach and yellow tones. And um, I used a little light bulb and a pen nib here. And there's a the little light bulb. More pearls, a bit more bling. And then these are two Maya Road uh, wooden birds that I used. And um, I used the distressed inks and added a bunch of different colors to them. And then I used a script stamp over top of them. And put a bit more gesso on top, again, to just make it look a bit more shabby. So that's that 
one, and I love this image of the uh, antique typewriter here. And then this one, the top pocket here, um, I added more of those beautiful paper flowers. Um, I did pink and blue and a very light peach and a blue here with some um, chipboard clocks that I've added here. Um, I think these are Maya Road as well. A um, bit more bling. And then again the fleur de lis mask, flat back pearls, and just the gorgeous, gorgeous colors in that paper. I absolutely love it. And then this little piece here I created myself. This was just a silver oval frame. And uh, I had this image of the vintage lady and I cut her out in the same shape. And then uh, I put some glossy accents over the whole thing. So it sort of looks like a little vintage picture here, but she's nice and, and glossy. And again, more gesso I put on top of the flowers. And then we are back to the top again. So I'm just going to put this down, see if I can stand it up. Let me adjust my camera. Hopefully I don't make you sick. <laughs> I'm going to try and stand this up and then hold my camera. So there it is, from top to bottom. It's the first slot, and then the second one, and then the third. And this is getting hung in my crafty room. So I wanted it to be very sort of shabby and vintage looking because that's going to be the style of my craft room when it gets finished. So that is my most recent project. Um, that's why I haven't been around for a couple of days because this is taking me a while to do. But it was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed it and uh, it was fun to just go crazy and just add whatever I wanted because I was keeping this project. So I really like doing that. So that is about it. And I really hope that you guys like this project. And there's the side. Oh yeah, and I did add um, some stamps here on the side. This is like a postcard stamp, and I just added that just to sort of, you know, give it more of a vintage look. And then I put a bit of gesso over top of that, just to lighten it. So there's the view from the side, and you can see that the pockets are quite deep, so my mail is going to go in there, and I'm going to hang that up on my wall this afternoon, and that's about it. So I hope you guys like it, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.